Welcome to part number 29 of Gran Turismo 1. This is the movie Chicane, and today is the grand finale. Today is the Gran Turismo World Cup. The final item in Gran Turismo 1 before we finally beat this game 100%. And I have three cars that I could have chose here. Or four, technically, if you count the Chaser, but the Chaser wasn't really one to care about. It's the Viper, the Sabera, and the Sylvia S14 LM Edition that we won in the previous segment. I had my chat do a vote, and by a 3 to 2 to 0 count, the Sabera won. So the TVR Sabera LM Edition is going to be used for the World Championship. So, here we go. The final, and I mean it this time, the final world, uh, the final segment of Gran Turismo 1. Super excited. Me too, dude. Me too. Let's see our grid. Impreza Rally Edition R32. Uh, weak field, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, we're going to destroy them anyways. I don't know if Mikhail is here, but thanks for being sub number 160. Sweet. And here we go for the final time. Round number one. High speed ring. Only GTU finished GT6. Ah. Uh, I was close, but then I, I just lost the motivation to continue that Let's Play because I wasn't doing the format correctly in my opinion. Like, I was really sloppy with my first attempt at a Let's Play, which is why I scrapped it. Whoa! Look at all that airtime, bro! Man, this TBR is pretty good. I don't know if it's... It's probably on equal footing with the uh, concept car. But yeah, this Sabera is just pretty fun to drive. Already smoking the competition here. Second lap. 52 seconds. I'm a lazy guy. I almost never finish games. Yeah, me too, dude. But after starting this YouTube channel, I want to change that habit. I want to start beating these games, you know? Looks like the Mercedes A160 suspension on the Severa. <laughs> yeah, this suspension is pretty crazy. Final lap. 45 second lap time here at high speed range. That's nothing. This car is really good. Exactly. Exactly, Marvin. Streaming does give you the motivation and the incentives to finish in the games. Don't do the moose test that so you can go roll off the Mars. Hey, Sky Hurricane, we were just talking about you, my friend. How's it going, dude? We're literally going to beat Gran Turismo 1 right now. And across the line, and we win round number one in completely dominating fashion. This championship is going to be quite a anticlimactic finish to simulation mode, just like arcade mode had a anticlimactic finish. I see you're using the Cerbera concept, or Cerbera LM, which is probably the best car in the game, along with the concept car LM. My friend, I actually have both of them. I use the uh, con the concept LM for Grand Valley 300, and then the World Championship for the Cerbera. Let me save this replay first, and on to the second round. I have seven videos to upload since three weeks, and here I am. Dude, I have videos from April. I have videos from April that I still haven't uploaded. Well, I've uploaded them now, recently this week, but I've had videos from April that I haven't uploaded, dude, and I finally got around to doing it. Anyways, round two, Trial Mountain Raceway, and oh my god. All, all the two-wheel driving... Look at that! Flat out through the S's. Don't even need to break. Oh, me too, dude. Me too. What I'm mostly excited for in GT4 when I LP that game is 
Super Lice is number 16 in the Japanese version, because in the Japanese version of GT4, you use a Sauber Mercedes C9 instead of the 180 Evolution. A month ago I did a stream of GT Sport GT League and I had to cut it since I was going up the track the whole time at Marvin. Ah. But I mean, y'all, you gotta start from somewhere. Sauber and Norschleife? Yes, Arthur. And I'm gonna do that with my Logitech G27 wheel. Because the G27 works with PS2, so um, yeah, I'm gonna use my Logitech wheel and, and do the Sauber at Norschleife. See if I can beat that Porsche 919 record, which eh, I doubt it. <laughs> but, and also, S11, instead of being the Clio at Opera Paris, it's the Pescarolo C60 at... Oh, no, no. The Pescarolo Judd at Paris. Yeah, exactly. I was going to mention that, too. Marvin, I mean, no disrespect to Marvin, but he was... Like you said, he was really terrible when he first started streaming. And it's nice to see the progress that somebody makes, you know? Like, when you see somebody getting good... On you know on live streams and you see them, you just see them improve so much. It's cool. Like Sky Hurricane has a friend that he used to do GT6 races with. Her name is Chikara uh, Hart, and he was saying that on one of his videos that like Chikara Hart just getting so much better as the days go by, and it's really fascinating to see somebody improve their skills. So I can't say you know I haven't I joined Sky's community way too late for the GT6 stuff, but. I was at least around during the time when Marvin was starting his GT Sports stuff. And to see the progress that somebody makes, it's really fascinating. So if you're not that good, I mean, it's fine, dude. Just as long as you keep getting better and just improve your race pace, improve your race craft, improve your commentary skills. I mean, that's all you really can do. And then you have us, too, for motivation as well. I mean, you know, we'll give you pointers. We'll be more than happy to check out your content, dude. Look at me giving motivational speeches. And like the music is playing in the background that sounds like all hyped up and stuff. <laughs> I haven't been able to concentrate lately either. Ah. Yeah, I mean, my first race but too tired from work. Yeah, I, I can understand that, dude. My first race back when I did GT Sport, what, on Monday was it? I was just super rusty and... I mean, I wasn't quite there, dude. But soon it'll be over. Ah, oh yeah, because there's real estate stuff. That's right. I'm looking forward to that, dude. We gotta celebrate once you get that. I've not been in the mood for gaming in the last months. Ah, that's understandable, man. There's been times when I haven't been in the mood for the channel, but... I don't know, man. It's just about rebounding from that, you know? That's all you really can do. So, round number three, Grand Valley Speedway. And... Here. We. Go. Green Flag. You know, I feel a little bit jumpy right now. Like... It's hitting me hard. Not, not in a bad way, in a good way. I'm finally gonna beat a Gran Turismo game. And this week I haven't even touched a single game because I'm really nervous. I, I hope you can go in and rectify that, dude. Whatever is causing it, I hope you can, you know, hopefully get that taken care of, bro. Like, a friend of mine is going through health problems as well, like, a lot of anxiety and stuff. And, um, you know, mainly because he's trying to get his driver's license and all, and, you know, like, I know it sucks, dude, but I'm just hoping you can rebound from whatever's going on. But, um, how are we celebrating the completion of GT1? Mm, that's a good question. That's a really good question, I suppose. Uh, I'll figure something out. <laughs> I'll figure something out. I have my first certificate exam this Saturday. You know, I get so nervous. Oh, really? Is, 
what is that? You said you're in high school still, right? I, I know you graduated one of your portions of high school, but I can't remember. I, I forget how the school system in Spain works. Minute 35 last time. Yeah, exactly what Arthur said. Good luck on that, by the way, dude. That's the one thing I forgot to say, and I apologize. But, um, yeah, good luck on your exam, bro. I think Liam Thomas in chat is also trying to get his driver's license in the UK, so... Um, good luck to that as well. It's nothing from high school. It's a Cambridge exam. Oh, English! Finally, I'm on vacation, so it's like a ton of weight removed from my shoulders. That's how I feel right now, dude, but I can relate to abstract when it comes to the nervousness because when when August comes around, I'm going to be back in school, right? Blue screen of death? No. <laughs> Please don't. Please don't say that, brother. Please. I, that's the last thing I want right now. Did it stop? No, it, it's it's still playing. No, yeah, it said it's back, but um, I'm looking on my end. On OBS, it still shows a um, a green light, so it stopped for 30 seconds. That's strange. I wonder why. Damn YouTube. Maybe some U bug thing. <laughs> U bug. Bug tube. A friend of mine had the same thing yesterday. Oh, okay. Being a pessimistic guy in English. Ah, okay. I mean, dude, your English is good. Your English is pretty good, bro. It's Cause playing the tricks on the screen. <laughs> Damn it, Cause. He probably heard my GT Sport rant in my previous segment. But um, what I was going to say was, I'm starting my last semester of community college, of junior college, and I feel this nervousness like about the future, because I'm about to transfer to a, a university, to the university level, and I'm just like, dude, I don't know if I'm ready. Like, I keep telling myself, like, I don't know, I don't know. Like, how do I feel about it? Dude, I've really been through that route. Community College University, you'll be great. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. That sucks, Abstract Guy. Just divert your mind from the exam. Overthink about it makes you more nervous. It's like your overall performance Saturday. Yeah, dude. Arthur is absolutely right. Don't try to think about it too much. One day at a time, dude. One day at a time. Just go in there, dude. Don't go in there, like, nervous about, like, you're going to fail. Go in with the mentality that you're going to do the best. You do go in with the mentality that you're going to ace it. Like, like, dude, I'm terrible at math, and I finally completed all of my math for, for college, and when I did my final for uh, college algebra, dude, I went, dude, I went in with that mentality that, no, I'm not going to fail. I'm going to pass this no matter what, and look, I got an A, dude. I got an A in college-level algebra. Dude, if you had asked me that three years ago, I would have told you, hell no, that would have never happened. But, dude, I actually got good at algebra. I began at 85 to 87 in the practices, that's close to the distinction, so I'm obviously going to do well, but my mentality sucks. No, I, I totally understand that, dude, but, I mean, just try, man. Just try your best to, you know, just have a really good, positive outlook 
going into the exam. That's all you really can do. And if you need any help, dude, you have me on Discord, you're more than welcome to DM me, dude. DM me, DM Marvin, DM any of us, dude, and we'll be more than happy to help you out with your English exam. Arthur, too, is learning English, and, you know, because he's from Brazil, and he's doing a really good job, dude, so you're, you know, you know, I, I fully believe that you can do it, man. You know, it probably wasn't until recent that I had this outlook because, I'll be honest with you, one of my closest friends, one of, one of my best friends passed away in May. And um, he was somebody who, who had that really super positive outlook on life. And after his death, I just kind of realized, 50-50 chance, easy exam or difficult one. Right, I get it. But, I don't know man, you just gotta think positive about it. That's all you really can do. I know it's easier said than done, but like I said, man, if you need any help, just you're more than welcome to DM me, dude. Hope I'll have the luck of the essay exam because in practices I've done the difficult one. 85 to 87, 79 to 76. That's still pretty good, dude. Everybody dies of that one. I mean, that's still pretty good. Dude, I've known people in, in high school, dude, where they failed English and they were born in the United States. And they spoke the language, dude. And they still failed English, like remedial English. You know, it's just like, I, I understand, you know, Spanish is your first language. I totally get that. But, you know, it, it, my point is, it's just like, I know you can do it, man. I know you can. I believe you can do it. D4 is for the next round of the World Championship. All you need to do is get good Saturday, be good Saturday, look at your practice notes, you're really well, just try to have the most relaxed mentality, really helps. Yeah, exactly, man. It's okay to feel nervous. It is. But, like I said, feel, it's alright to feel nervous, just don't go in with a, I'm gonna fail mentality. You know, we're all human, you know, we feel, those are the emotions that we feel, we feel nervousness. It's all about just having a good outlook. Here in Spain, people fall, uh, fail a present simple exam in advanced high school. Really? <laughs> That's not a surprise, honestly. Here in the U.S., people... In California, we used to have an exam called the CASI, which was the California High School Exit Exam. And dude, you took that in the 10th grade as a sophomore. So when you're like around like 16 years old, and it was literally like 7th, 6th grade material, like middle school stuff. And a lot of people failed that exam, dude. So I can believe you on, on that exam in Spain, because a lot of people used to fail that California exam here. And uh, yeah, it was pretty ridiculous. Unless, you know, obviously you spoke, unless English wasn't your first language or, you know, other circumstances like, um, you know, mental disability, I understand that, but, I mean, I have my own issues, but I still manage to pass it with flying colors. I mean, hey. Why do I feel like this car's stuttering when trying to accelerate? Maybe it's a suspension? 
the concept card did the same thing. Here they did the same thing to me and basically everyone cheated. That's Damn, really? Everyone cheated? Then again, I'm not surprised by that either. Something weight related? Oh yeah, probably. Because this car is what, one to one weight ratio? It's super lightweight and has a lot of power, so yeah, you're probably right about that. Your dampers are slightly too high. Lower it to a 3 and it won't do that. Okay. I'll go ahead and do that, Sky. Thank you. I think the last round is SSR 11. I think I remember reading that after or beforehand. Like, before I did the stream, I remember looking at the race list. And I think it's six races, if I remember correctly. And needless to say, we win the championship. We won it in the previous round. On to the finale. Alright, let's go ahead and change the setup here. Here we go, the final race of this entire LP in Gran Turismo 1, Special Stage Route 11. The last three laps, your class is full of cheaters. Oh, that's gotta be the thumbnail. <laughs> that airborne, that complete airborne with the Lancer. I'm not surprised by that. I remember taking a, um, uh, I remember taking a night class once where the whole class cheated. Cheated in English class, dude. They cheated. Like, like, dude. I mean, the teacher was pretty old too, and she would never supervise the classroom, and so we had an exam on one of the books we read. I cannot remember which book it was. It, I think it was Things Fall Apart, or it's one of those books where like a Christian family goes to Africa. Things Fall Apart, I think it's called. And the teacher was elderly. She didn't really care. And she left the classroom all the time. She's been fired already, by the way. She got fired in my senior year. And, dude, literally the whole class cheated because nobody read the book and everybody pulled out the book. Everybody pulled out the book and the phone, dude, and it just spark noted everything. And the worst thing is sometimes they get caught by teachers and teachers just don't care about it. Oh, yeah, you were saying something about that, right? I, I remember, like, a couple months ago, you were... One of my GT6 streams, I think, you were saying that the Spanish school system is not the best, and, and I feel sorry for you guys, man. Because definitely teachers are, you know, in my opinion, teachers have to inspire, and when they just don't care about cheating like that, like, it sucks. I mean, my, um, reason why I want to become a college professor is because some of my professors in college inspired me to do so. Second lap. Two laps to go for Gran Turismo 1. My math teacher sucks. She's the worst teacher ever. Oh, who was the worst teacher I ever had, like, of all time? Oh, I know, I know. The worst public school teacher I've ever had of all time was my 12th grade government teacher. My government slash economics teacher. She was awful, dude. One of the worst. My top three worst, like, government slash economics teacher in senior year. Second worst teacher I ever had was my Spanish teacher in high school. Third worst teacher I ever had was, um... Who else would be in that category?
<laughs> well, if that's true, I don't have to worry about being the worst teacher ever. Nah, Sky. I, I can imagine you're probably a fantastic teacher, dude. I mean, the fact that, what, sometimes you have students going to your own streams, right? I think I remember seeing some students join your streams, and if that's the case, dude, it shows that they care. That they, that they care and actually like their teacher outside of school, which is always a good thing. I mean, that has to count for something, right? Anyways, guys, the final lap of Gran Turismo 1. <sighs> Man, I, I, I don't know what to say. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, when you have that interaction outside of school, it's also pretty cool. I mean, I have, like, two teachers that I talk to on a regular basis, you know, outside of school because of that reason. I exactly, Marvin. Exactly. Because Sky, he's patient, he's cheerful, and he's very nice. He remembers my class in this period exam with consultation and the last period exams were managed to take zero because it copied the exam's number. Idiots! Oh my god, dude. That's like the first thing you should notice. Arthur, that's like the first thing that people should notice is the exam numbers. So if you're gonna cheat, at least, at least tell the exams apart. In another class, someone said she explained maths in an impossible to understand way. She had someone new, a teacher, to explain it to him. <laughs> Oh, damn, dude. I I know the feeling. Guys, we did it. We did it. We did it, AOL. We we did it, school loop. Even the writing errors they caught- Oh my god, dude. You, you can't be that dumb! Guys, we- I, I don't know what to say. I, I, I don't know what the heck to even say right now. Apart from, let me save this replay. And... Continue. So, 50,000 credits for winning the championship. Series championship and no new car? Credits. We did it. Wow. I I don't know what to say guys. We we beat Grand Tourette. We beat GT1. I mean, I know this is something a lot of people have done, but I've never beaten a Gran Turismo game 100% before. Whoops, accidentally hit start. Oh well. <laughs> Probably the music's copyrighted too, so <laughs> I, I I don't know if the music isn't copyrighted or not, but regardless, oh, we got thrown into the main menu. Okay, let's go back to Gran Turismo mode, I suppose. Thanks, Sky Hurricane. I appreciate it. Thank you, Cooper. I I appreciate it. Oh, it, it somehow threw me back in the GT League. Okay, that's cool. So, did I not win a new car? No. No new car. Yeah, thanks to the big man upstairs. Thank you, God. Thank you, my parents. Thank you to all 130 plus subscribers. The ones who left a like. My haters. My sponsor, Simple Los Angeles. Thrustmaster. Uh, Sky Hurricane for the, thir the Turtle Beach headset, which was used in this LP for the last majority of it. Uh, thank you to my neighbors for constantly making noise. 
while I stream. Um, thank you to... Thank you to... I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. Alright, well, that's it. That's Gran Turismo 1 done. So the next Let's Play I'm going to do on this channel is... Not going to be as long as GT1. Yes, uh, Sky Hurricane, I, I, I appreciate it, dude. I really do. Yeah, yeah, yo soy jugando Nintendo ahorita. Um, yeah, that's basically it. I mean... Oh, they're... Oh, GT Hi-Fi! Okay, we unlocked that, I suppose. That's pretty cool. Alright, well, that's the end of the Gran Turismo 1 Let's Play, guys. The next project will be... It's gonna be an arcade racer, that's what I'm gonna tell you. Not a sim, not a sim game. Thank you for watching once again. I'm the Movie Chicane. See you in the next project.